Hey guys, today we're going to learn about how to use taps and dies along with the tools associated with them. To start here you can see I have a few kits and these are something you might recognize from the motorcycle thread repair video. These kits come with the tap, its own set of small tools, and these neat little thread inserts so you can completely replace threads without changing the inside diameter. Next we have a set of dies used to create or repair outside threads. And then we have a set of taps used to create or repair inside threads. In the middle here, we have the other tools we will need when using taps and dies. We have a thread pitch measuring tool, we have a handle for the dies, and we also have a handle for the taps. And there's also a secondary smaller handle that we can use for taps. We're going to learn how to use all these tools in just a moment. This is the bolt and nut that we're going to try to fix in this video. As you can see, the threads are damaged on both the bottom of the bolt and the inside threads on the nut. We'll be using a tap and die to fix these threads. First we're going to make sure that the threads are the right pitch for the tap and die we plan on using. To do that, we're going to use this pitch measurement tool. You can see the 1.0 measurement fits perfectly with the threads of the bolt. Now if you don't have a pitch measuring tool, you can always do a bit of trial and error and try different taps and make sure one of them fits perfectly with your bolt. Once you find that tool, you can find its corresponding die and that'll work perfectly for your bolt and nut. Next, we need to make sure that our tap and die are the right diameter. To do that, we can use a caliper and measure the outside diameter of our bolt. Now keep in mind, this number is going to be smaller than the nominal measurement. So here we're looking for a 6 millimeter diameter tap and die. Now let's take a look at how to set the handles up for the taps and dies. To start, we have this smaller tap holder that has a chuck on it and two clamping metal pieces on the inside. These metal pieces work much like a drill. You just insert the tap and turn it until it tightens down fully. Now on the top of this, there's a spot for a socket wrench. That's one way to use this tool. Another way is to use the handle that's provided, which has three settings, one for far left, middle, and far right. This little handle comes in handy because it has a short arm and it gets you a little bit further back away from the tap. This allows you to work in a bit tighter of a space. If you recall from the motorcycle thread repair video, that was a struggle I ran into. Although for today's video, we have plenty of room to work, so I'm going to go with the longer handle. As you turn this right side of the handle here, a clamp opens and closes. All you have to do is put the square end of the tap inside there and tighten the handle down and you're good to go. Now we're going to look at the handle for the die. Now the die is going to have a tapered hole. One end is going to be a little bit larger and the other end is going to be the final diameter you need. You want to make sure that the larger hole is facing outward in the tool. Now you want to make sure that the die doesn't fall out, so all you need to do is turn the outer ring of the tool to clamp the die in. Once you have that turned and it's clamped, you're ready to work. To make this task a little easier, I'm going to go ahead and set my bolts up in a clamp, and I'm also going to put a little oil along the threads. Cutting lube would work better, but oil does just fine. I'm going to make sure the threads are nice and covered everywhere that we're going to use the tool. And if you need more, go ahead and apply more. Then we're going to use our die and die handle, starting with the tapered end of the die facing towards the bolt. I'm going to start slow to get the die and the threads of the bolt aligned perfectly. I don't want to re-thread the bolt, I just want to fix the current threads. As you can see, it's getting just a little bit tough as it starts cutting its way through the flattened threads. So I'm going to give it a little turn back to let it break and then keep moving forward. As I turn this, it's getting easier and easier as it's correcting those threads on its way down. As I near the end of the bolt, coming back up with the die, I want to make sure I apply pressure upward to make sure the tapered end of the threads on the die don't re-thread the end of the bolt. And there we have it. The bolt threads are nice and fixed, and we're ready to move on to the nut. 
Just like with the bolt, we're going to use a clamp to hold our workpiece down. And here I have my tap and tap handle. Again, I'm going to apply just a little bit of oil to help the cutting process. Now, when I get the tap started inside the nut, I want to make sure that I am perfectly perpendicular to the nut. I want to make sure that the threads catch inside the current threads that are already there so I'm not re-threading the hole. Once I feel them catch and I feel the cutting begin on the messed up part of the threads, I can continue turning this around, cutting a little bit at a time. And like before, I want to make sure that I'm using upward pressure when I take this out to prevent cross-threading. As you can see here, we have nice clean threads now, and these two fit together perfectly. Thank you for watching.